Hi everyone, so today I'm back with a Zara haul. I have a few different little bits to show you guys today. I picked up some basics which I'm really, really excited about and haven't tried them on yet. I've had them for a little while and I keep meaning to try them on so I thought that I would just do it in this video and talk you through the bits that I'm liking and maybe the bits that I'm not liking so much. And then I also did a little shop in store as well as online. Basically I bought some bits online because I wanted to try out the knitwear that is all over Instagram at the moment is like the it pieces and it's kind of really annoying me because I just see them everywhere and I just wanted to know if they were actually worth the hype so I ordered those and then I went in store to pick up something that was kind of part of that knitwear but they didn't have it in stock in my size online so I went in store ended up picking up a few more bits so I thought I would show them to you in this video all as one. So first up I'm going to show you one of my favourite items that I picked up that I'm super excited to try on. It's this like, I can't remember what this uh, material is but like a really soft like fuzzy material. I got this in a medium and it cost $29.99. I had a really cropped white version of this a little while ago, uh, which has definitely seen better days now. It's had a lot of wear still in my wardrobe, but with the more like loungewear y things that uh, are a little bit more gross. I love this. I thought this would look so cute with like my leather look kind of joggers, leggings, that kind of thing. By the way, if I sound really bunged up, sorry, I've still got like the dregs of a cold. And I swear when I go to film videos, it just all like sits and I just can't speak properly. So if I just sound grim, it's because I am. I am. But I love this. Anyway, it's such a gorgeous, like, creamy nude colour. Definitely a more yellow tone than what I would normally go for. But I really like it. It's so, so cute. I've sized up so that it would have a really nice oversized feel. It would tuck nicely and just sit in a really nice and slouchy way. I love that kind of look. So really, really excited to try this on. So this is the cream fluffy jumper. It's so fluffy! Oh, nice. It's a little bit dark today, so if these cutaways are just like looking horrendous, I'm so sorry, but I can't control the weather. So uh, yeah, this is what we're working with. But I really like this jumper. I'm glad I went for the medium, because I think the small would have just been a little bit less roomy. I think the fit of this is really, really nice. I think it would also look great tucked, but I kind of left it untucked to begin with, just so you can see where it hits without, but I really like it tucked in with leather trousers. I think it looks really cute. And actually I was a bit concerned over the color being more yellowy and actually not looking great with my skin tone, but I really like it. However, I've just realized I'm saying that I have fake tan since you saw me before. So I'm probably a lot darker than in the main part of this video, but I do think it looks really nice and it doesn't wash me out in the way I was expecting it to. And on camera, it's really not coming up yellowy at all. So perfect slouchy knit but not an actual knit because I'm kind of like over knits. I prefer something that's not like a chunky knit but this still has some kind of texture to it and it works really beautifully with the leather trousers. Okay, next up, I these are the bits that are slightly more exciting. These are not the basics by any means, but I picked up this jacket. It was in the sale and I saw it and I just loved it so much. It's a really lightweight jacket and it's got kind of like it's a little bit ruched at the bottom it's a really relaxed fit um i love the color i just love a bit of khaki i think it works really really beautifully in my wardrobe especially with all of the leather tones and the white that i wear it just works really nicely and it's got almost like a military it's like a relaxed military style it's got those kind of like shoulder shoulder pads we call them short pants. What would you call these? <laughs> Let me know. But yeah, I love the sleeves as well. It's a little bit ruched on the sleeve too. So it's just very slouchy and a really nice relaxed kind of oversized fit. I just think it's really, really cute. And I think it will work so nicely in my spring wardrobe and I just couldn't pass up the chance to buy it because I know I will get a lot of wear out of that. For those of you who haven't seen this one in my week in active wear slash gym outfits video, by the way, if you want to watch that, I will link that in the info box below for you. For those of you who haven't seen it already, this is what the Zara jacket looks like so so cute i really like it i just love the fit it's so slouchy so relaxed i feel like i've already said that a million times in the main bulk of this video so i'm really sorry if i repeat myself but yeah super super happy with this i love the way it's like ruched all the way around the bottom i just think it's really flattering yeah and i think it works really really nicely with the leather trousers as well and a black high neck i think it all just works really nicely together so yeah new wardrobe staple i'm so excited for the weather to warm up a little bit so i can wear this but i also do think i'm probably going to get some wear out of this over the next few months and just throw it on under my coat it is one of those items that i think is amazing for just having under a coat and it's not as chunky and thick as like an actual 
cardigan so it is a little bit more versatile in terms of winter layering also this is what it looks like if you kind of do it all the way up i think this looks a little bit more smart so if your style is that way inclined then this might be a way to make this work for you i personally would just like have it open i do think it looks quite cool done up as well on the flip side a slightly more crack whoa almost killed my plant on the flip side a slightly more practical purchase is this zara puffer jacket this is very very oversized i would normally like size up in a coat like this i tend to find puffers traditionally run quite small but this one is uh, a size small and it's very very big on me so i could have even gone down but i actually really like the oversizedness of it my all saints one is very very big on me and i do like that vibe i think this one fits me better and is definitely a more practical colour so for any of you that were looking for something similar but without the All Saints price tag I would definitely look into this very practical purchase and I've been wearing it every day to the gym and I'm really glad I did buy this by the way because it is like arctic in the south of England right now and there's just been this weird cold snap and <laughs> I'm really so so grateful for this and again for those of you who haven't seen this in the gym outfits video this is what the black puffer looks like on. I love this coat. This coat is just a dream. It looks really cute with leather leggings, trousers, all of that kind of thing, but just also it looks so great as part of my like gym active wear kind of outfits. And it's very, very, very practical for me in terms of like when I wear a coat to the gym, the lockers are a little bit dusty and stuff. So it's just nice not to be throwing my nice cream one in the lockers there. And this one works really, really well as well. I also wear a lot of black to the gym as well so it works perfectly for both that and just general everyday wear and it's so warm and i feel like a giant marshmallow and it's great uh, i feel like this is the end of my uh, my channel i'm starting to wear practical clothes <laughs> this is the end then we have basics. I picked up a few t-shirts that were in like a high neck style. These are like a sleeveless t-shirt kind of regular fit i picked these up in a size small and they were 20 pounds each this one is a really like fine material and quite like stretchy which is great because this neck is <laughs> definitely not one that i'm going to be putting on after i've done my makeup or done my hair but grateful for the stretchiness there's nothing worse than a roll neck that just doesn't stretch so i picked that one up in black i also picked it up in this it's like a light nude color same material same style but i thought this would work really really nicely into my wardrobe especially in the spring and summer i'll show you all of these kind of in a series of cutaways next and then i also have this one which is more of a ribbed feel and it's slightly thicker much much stretchier and the neck is slightly less high so i feel like this one is probably going to be the one that i will love the most i have a longer sleeve version of this which i really like but it's got like cutouts which isn't always super wearable depending on what you want to wear so this one will definitely be a staple for me i just love a black high neck and i'll let you know my thoughts on these in comparison to the bodies because they are kind of a similar cut to the high neck bodies um but for those of you that don't love wearing a body so much or don't want to worry about bpl uh, or anything like that then uh, these might be a better option so i'll let you know how they can okay so this top is the only one of the sleeveless high neck tops that is going on my body for the reason that the necks on them are really small this one is the ribbed one so it's not as small it has more stretch to it but the other two are unlike anything i've ever known like i <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you I could not get them over my head like practically when it came down to it this is what I was working with which doesn't look too bad until you see like the actual crap like I couldn't get them past here and I don't have a particularly ginormous head like I have an average size head I don't have issues with like hats being too small or anything more often than not they're too big but apparently on this occasion my head is too big i would say put it on before you put your makeup on and do your hair i did take my hair down to get this top on just because otherwise i was gonna have a fight with my little bun i think i said in the main part of this video i got this in a small i got both of them in the small you could go for the other ones if you wanted to but size up to a medium however you would probably get a little bit more bunching around the sides this is the difference between the zara tank tops and then the zara bodies as you tend to get a little bit more material here so yeah i would say if you wanted to get a medium and size up you would need to be prepared for like a little bit more bunching on the sides unless you're going to wear something high-waisted and belted in which case i think that sizing up could be a perfect option for me it's just not worth the fight so i'm going to be returning the other two tops this one though i do really like it's a really great everyday basic 
And then we have two knitted sets that I have seen all over Instagram and I wanted to give a try and give my like honest thoughts on because Zara knitwear is really really hit and miss for me and I've just been seeing lots of their knitwear everywhere it's very like Instagrammable but how practical is it would I actually get the wear out of it that is what I want to know and I'm here to give you the scoop on so both have a top that is almost like kind of a corset shape but obviously not the style the first one is slightly thicker in its knit it doesn't feel super comfortable like I don't feel this and think like you know when you feel a bit of knitwear and you're like oh can't wait to wear that this does not feel like that it doesn't feel too itchy at just like the immediate touch but we'll see how it is when it's on but it is very cute it comes with shorts and I do think that this is really really sweet it's very like skims-esque but without being like a teddy fluff material so definitely one to look at if you don't love that material so much I just really love the skims cozy stuff and uh can't wait for it to restock quite frankly and then it also comes with this cardigan as well it's cropped and i would say a little bit oversized as well for a crop i got this in a small it cost 25.99 the shorts were 19.99 and then the top was 15.99 so all together quite a lot for something that you're probably not going to wear out the house if I'm honest so I'm going to try these on show you what they look like on and give my verdict on whether they're itchy or not because uh, I just don't trust that that material isn't going to be itchy right, this is cute but where the fuck are people wearing this because it's not in a pajama section like this comes under knitwear where are you guys wearing this? I think it's really cute, very Skims-esque in terms of like their cozy collection, except it's knitted and it kind of makes it a little bit more like mature, I think in terms of the look rather than using the cozy like teddy material. I love the color of it. I absolutely love the color of this. But my question still stands, where the fuck are people wearing this? Like, I cannot give you any styling tips on this, quite frankly, because I just, I don't think I will wear this out the house. Maybe if I sized up in things and it was a little bit more slouchy, I don't know. This is definitely loungewear for me. I can't say I love the combination of the cardigan with the set. I actually think I prefer the set on its own. I just think this, this kind of, I don't know, is a bit much. I'll show you what the cardigan looks like though with leather trousers because I think this could look really, really cool styled up uh, with a pair of leather trousers. So I'll show you that after this. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. I'm confused by this. What is this? Do you like this? I really like it. Lauren really likes it. But I wouldn't leave my house. No, you couldn't leave the house in this. Surely not. I mean, you could try. <laughs> <laughs> How would you style this? Um... No. I actually feel like I'm in one of those films, you know, where they wear like stuff like this, but in like a silk under dresses. Yeah. That's what this feels like. I feel very confused by this. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Just in case anyone wanted my opinions on the most like Instagrammed sets from Zara at the moment. Um, my opinion is I'm just confused. I don't really know what this is, but it's cute. I just don't know if I get the wear out of it quite frankly, because it's not itchy. It's not like jersey level comfort and it's not teddy bear fuzzy level comfort. So if you want to look a little bit more chic, but still be wearing loungewear and have uh, the skims style fit but with a more mature kind of material, mature, I don't even know if that's the word I'm thinking of, like chic maybe, because I feel like teddy bear fluff and like jersey fabrics are more, I don't know, they're kind of cheaper. And I don't know, if you wanted to have like a more premium feel, more editorial look to your loungewear set, then this would be a great one. For me, I'm just not sure that I will get the wear out of this. But the fits are good. Um, I would say I could have probably done a medium in the bottoms. The small fits fine, but I think in terms of like having something as loungewear, I would have sized up. The top fits absolutely fine got that in a small and the cardigan I got in a medium I believe hold let me check that no small so that fits fine I would say this is a slightly oversized fit so you don't need to size up in this but maybe the shorts if you wanted them to be a little bit baggier maybe size up but I do this is like my widest point so 
depends on your shape really kind of do what's best for you but the color is the thing that i love the most about this set if i'm honest it's just like a really really beautiful color it's very unique it's not something you find in abundance on the high street so yeah that's my thoughts so this is what the cardigan looks like with the leather trousers and not as part of the set i definitely prefer it with a pair of leather trousers i think that is pretty much the only way to kind of make a cardigan for me look a little bit more cool i think there are so many girls that actually just look really amazing in cardigans that are just like i'm not that level cool like i have to really try extra extra hard to make myself <laughs> look better in them and not look like a grandma but i really like the mixture of my leather joggers and this cardigan it's really cute the size that i got fits really really well i like it a lot it's just like the perfect kind of crop length but not too crop and it's just not too oversized around the chest area i think it's kind of perfect it's cute i like it I think it's really cute if you didn't want the whole set but you liked the cardigan this is definitely a way that you can wear it and i think it just makes it a little bit a little bit more edgy a little bit less grammar the second knitwear set as far as i know doesn't come with the bottoms there is another kind of knitted skirt but it's actually like in a lighter color so i don't know if they are meant to pair together but i thought i'd show you these as another option this is so soft this is one of those things that i touch and i'm like mm. Yeah, I would I would enjoy having that on my body. I picked this up in two sizes because I just really wasn't sure over the sizing of it, so I'll let you guys know. It's 19.99, which um it could be quite versatile like I think over a shirt if you would like that kind of vibe. It's quite preppy. It could be really really cute or over like a black roll neck or I think even better maybe a nude roll neck cuz there's less contrast. I've seen a lot of people wear it with this cardigan and they wear it over the top, so I will kind of show you what that looks like. I'm really interested to see if that actually works and is a vibe but i've seen a lot of people pair them together i got the cardigan in a small and it was 25.99 this just is a very mumsy cut and i don't even think i mean mumsy because most mums are way cooler than this it's a very old-fashioned cut i feel like i don't want to offend anyone in saying that but it is let's face it um it's been around a long time but i love the color it's so soft and i'm interested to see how the two of these pair together so i'll show you that now my one thing that i'm quite excited about with cardigans like this they're quite cute is if you kind of have them open you can switch them around and wear them back to front and have an open back which could be cute so i'll let you know if that works i don't know if because of the round neck cut that might not work so much but we'll see yeah i'm excited for you guys because i won't know until like a day's time whether i like these or not you guys get to skip straight to the point and i'm really jealous okay i wasn't expecting to be on board with this one but I am, I really like this. I think it looks really, really cute with the leather joggers. Wasn't expecting that, threw these on because I was like, what the f am I wearing on my bottom half? There isn't a bottom kind of half to this set unless I have just like not looked on the website properly, not looked in store properly because I looked in both places and that's like a real monumental cock up for me to make, but um, it could happen. So as far as I know, there isn't a bottom half to this set. So literally just threw these on with it. Really like it. I actually would keep this. It's cute. It's really, really cute. I think layered up with like some jewellery, you could like have like a really comfy, cash look that looks a little bit more glam if you kind of like accessorise a little bit. The cardigan, I'm not the biggest fan of guys. I'm going to be very honest. I don't know how like people are making this work on the ground by putting this under this so i'm going to show you what that looks like doing this for you guys really road testing those instagram trends I'm sorry guys i can't be a part of this trend <laughs> what is this oh god i clearly need to give up my job because i don't i can't do this so before you go i have one more item that arrived a day later which i wanted to show you guys this is i can't remember what the name of this shirt is I'll link it in the info box anyway but it's basically a really nice kind of military style shirt i really really love it it's in the most gorgeous like nudie beigey color i've left it untouched just so you guys can see the back because it's got a really gorgeous um like cinched in back but to be honest i would wear this tucked i think it would work so nicely especially with my skinny leather trousers but i'll just show you with my leather joggers for today's video you'll probably see this in like a what i wore in a week or something coming up though i actually think this would look really nice with the sleeveless high neck uh, ribbed top that I was just wearing. I think it would look really nice with this underneath if you wanted to have it unbuttoned but still have your chest covered. I think that would look so cute. But yeah, this is what it looks like fully done up. I probably have like a couple of buttons, just a couple undone. But I love the material of this. It's so, so soft. It just feels like an absolute dream 
to wear. Love the colour of this. I think this is going to be an absolute staple in my wardrobe all year long. It's a colour that I love. I think it's going to work so, so beautifully in the summertime with more whites. And it works really, really well with all of my like leather trousers and stuff for the winter time. So that is it for today's Zara haul. And I hope you enjoyed my little review of Zara's most Instagrammed current products. Let me know what you loved or what you didn't love so much in the comments below. And I'll try and mark down in the info box what I'm thinking of keeping or returning. Obviously the coat and jacket, I love and I am keeping those. But I'll let you know about everything else after I've tried it on. And as always, any video requests, I would love to hear from you. And finally, of course, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. But that is gonna be it for me today. I hope you have all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.